Hey guys, how's it going? I hope your day is going great. So I am in the car right now waiting for John to get in and we are going to go to Menards to pick up some supplies to work on a garden project. Next year I have a lot of varieties of beans and different things that need trellising. So we are going to make a trellis tunnel with two by twos and chicken wire. So we're headed to Menards to get the supplies. Oh, and here's John now. So let's go. back from going to Menards and Home Depot to pick up the things that we need. I'm standing in the area right here that we are going to be building in. This is the space that is going to have the walkway starting here and going to this part right here, connecting here. So over it we're going to be building uh, two by two with chicken wire archways the entire way so I can then plant beans and loofah and all kinds of crops on there. So the things that we got from the store you testing it out? <laughs> so the things that we got from the store to be able to do this project are these two by twos by eights here. And we got this big roll of chicken wire and anything left over from this will go towards making our chicken coop run. And then we got these lights from Home Depot. They're just really pretty red and green that we're going to drape over the whole top. It'll be super magical. And while we wait for John to go grab some stuff in the house, I want to show you what's going on in our in our greenhouse right here. I'm super happy with how this is turning out. They all look super green and healthy and lush. Uh, the other day it was in the 50s, so I did take the cover off of them to let them have some wind and fresh air, so that was really nice, but it is really cold out here. That's why I put on another jacket. I highly recommend this method if you guys want to try growing some stuff over the winter if you live up in a colder northern climate like I do. <laughs> Well, it looks like it's time for plan B because the weld right here broke and yeah, rendering this useless. So it looks like we're gonna have to use the post hole digger. Well, this did not even last a couple months.
gotten pretty dark out here and it's starting to rain on us and I don't know how much more we're going to be able to do tonight but this is end up ending up being a lot taller than I thought. To the peak here it's nine feet so there's plenty of room for my plants to grow next year. This is quite the arbor and I don't know if we're going to get to putting the chicken wire on there. That's something that could easily be done in the spring, but I definitely want to get the lights on here and go inside because we've been at this all day and it's like 40 degrees out here and it is mighty fresh. So we'll see how much more we get done today and I'll give you a look at um, how it looks in the night and how it looks during the day and I will leave in the description um, how much it costs and how many two by twos we used in case you want to do something similar or a lot shorter than this. It could definitely be a lot shorter than this and I thought it was going to be a lot shorter. But anyways, it'll definitely give me lots of planting space and I think it's going to look magical and it wasn't that expensive. So. So it's a new day and I wanted to just jump in here real quick um, and talk to you about some things that happened after we shut the camera off last night. Um, we, well I more like, decided that I didn't really love the way that it was looking. Um, and it wasn't that it was overly large because I was looking online at some of the larger arbors that you can buy, um, like from Gardener Supply and everything. and. It wasn't too far off from the dimensions of those. The thing that makes it seem so much larger is that our yard is so small and it just looked way too off. So as I'll show you in the end, um, we did take the top off and um, just do a straight top across and it just looks a lot better. It won't be as tall as it could be and it'll be a little bit tighter of a fit um, once the plants and everything start growing, you might have to duck a little bit, but there's only so much you can do in a tiny yard without it looking completely misproportioned. But that is something to take into consideration when you're doing projects is it might not be the best thing to try and finish it all in one day because that allows you time to step back and evaluate how the project is going and if you want to make any adjustments to it. Um, and that's the best part about DIYing things is you're not stuck to a rigid plan. You're not paying somebody to come in and do something for you and the finished product is what you're stuck with. You can change things up as you go and make them customized for your situation and what you would like. So like I said, I'll put in the description below how much this costs for us to make in our situation and I hope you guys enjoyed. And tag me on Instagram if you try to build your own arbor. I'd love to see it. And another thing, uh, I figured that during the summer, I will use this as an arbor and grow beans and loofah and black-eyed Susan on it and all kinds of stuff. I thought it would be a dual purpose if next winter I put um, like greenhouse plastic over the whole thing and made it into a cold frame where I could you know put planters in there and grow some lettuce or um, more cold hardy annuals and over winter more tender perennials but I figure this will be a pathway in the summer to grow things on but it can also be a great dual purpose winter season extender. And here's what it looks like with the flat top. I think it looks a whole lot more proportional for the area. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.